Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn an acoustic violin into an electric violin. And then I'm gonna steampunk it. I knew someone who once spent like a thousand dollars on an electric violin. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make one for less than forty dollars. For this build, you'll need a soldering iron, a wood glue, a drill, a dremel tool, a hammer, hot glue and glue gun, a quarter inch bone jack, a pickup from an old electric guitar, and a junk violin from an antique store in Dunkirk, New York. This violin was badly damaged, so I had no qualms about cutting into it. But first, I had to fix it. I used wood glue to fix the body. I added a screw for good measure. I figured I was going to drill into it anyway, might as well add a little extra strength. I then added a chin rest that I got from a local violin shop. I got two new bridges from Amazon. You have to shape them and cut the grooves for the strings yourself, which I did with the Dremel. The bridge is held in place by tension. Now that the violin is fixed, it's time to destroy it. The components I used to steampunk the violin included a lumen disc, three vacuum tubes, rubber grips from an old guitar bag, two decorative nails, decorative gears from a craft store, ten or more brads, a watch face, and miscellaneous steampunk bits. Originally I tried to use a piezo buzzer from my second ever DIY as the pickup, but it just wasn't strong enough, so I settled on a pickup left over from my first DIY ever. I connected the jack to the wires with solder. In order to install the pickup, I had to cut several holes in the violin, so I figured this was as good a time as any to cut the hole for the lumen disc. I cut all the holes very carefully using a power drill and a dremel. I threaded the jack through the hole beneath the strings and carefully screwed it in place once it was where I wanted it. The pickup is hot glued to the fingerboard. That's really all you need to do to electrify an acoustic violin, but remember, this is going to be a steampunk violin. I made this rim out of scrap EVA foam. I painted the rim black and pressed the brads into the foam to look like rivets. Then I just popped it in place. I cut another hole in the violin and set the watch face into it. I drilled three more holes on the other side of the fingerboard and hot glued vacuum tubes into them. Okay, I just want to make this perfectly clear, I use brads which are essentially little tiny nails to attach the gears to the violin, not glue. I did not just glue some gears on it and call it steampunk. Here's the completed violin. I also attached a compass beneath the watch, which is totally useless because of the pickup, but it sure does look cool. I also cut an extra hole in the back so I could reach the switch for the lumen disc. Okay, now just a quick warning. When activated, the lumen disc creates an electric field that can be detected by the pickup and create distortion when amplified. One way around this would have been to put the phone jack on the opposite side of the violin. You have no idea how much that few extra inches of space helps. You can also just turn off the lumen disc while playing, but where's the fun in that? Besides, I kind of feel like a steampunk band would have a bit of a grungy sound. Now all I have to do is learn to play the violin. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then you can like or subscribe for more tutorials and short films that showcase the things that I make. I also have some other steampunk tutorials that you might be interested in, so you can check those out right now.